Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you want to see how to create this really unique, funky, blooming gel nail art design, then just keep watching. So the lovely Lindsay from Ugly Duckling UK from Caught You Licking, which is the UK supplier for Ugly Duckling, sent me some gorgeous products to show you. I am already a massive fan of Ugly Duckling, so I already have lots of gel polishes and acrylics, but she sent me a few to show you guys. So I thought I'd do a little tutorial on how to create a funky gel polish design. So I'm starting off with this beautiful silver glitter and you can see how amazing the glitter is because it's reflecting in the camera, that is how sparkly it is and it is number 130, it is a stunning silver glitter. So starting out with the design I'm applying that silver glitter gel right up and budging it right up to the cuticle area, getting a nice clean crisp line around the cuticle area pushing the majority of that glitter around that area so it gets full opacity and then using my brush to pull down any excess product and you'll see that right around the cuticle area is really thick opacity and full coverage of glitter and then I'm pulling it down so it's really nice and thin around the tip because we will be applying more layers of gel so we don't want to add bulk around the tip area and I absolutely love how that looks by itself but now we are going to go in with this beautiful periwinkle blue kind of colour, slightly on the lilac side as well. It is a stunning colour and it is number 133. We're going to be using this to create the full nail of colour. So I'm using the brush only to create this effect. So I'm applying that gel polish to the nail and using my brush to push up and create that oval type shape around the cuticle area, leaving that glitter showing through and creating that outline so it gives that cuff effect style nail art. This gel polish is so super pigmented, I probably could have gotten away with one coat if I'd applied it really well but I did go in with two coats of this, so I'm just doing it to the rest of the nails using my brush to push up and create that nice shape around the cuticle area. You can go in with a clean up brush to sharpen it up even more, but I felt like it was good enough just like this. So I'm gonna finish off the other nails and I'll be right back. So after I'm done that first layer I'm popping it into my lamp to cure and now I'm going in with my second layer and because I've already got that base layer of gel on it makes the second layer super easy, you just slap it on, paint up to where you've painted that first layer of colour and then pull your brush down and it is completely full opacity, full coverage. This is a gorgeous colour, I would love to just have my nails plain and just this colour. It's the most stunning periwinkle blue shade I'm in love. So once I've done that second layer, I'm going to pop it in my lamp to cure. So now going in with Schmelt It Clear, this is a blooming gel type of product and this comes in a polish bottle which I find so easy for applying to the nail and it's completely clear and I'm just applying it over where I've got that baby blue colour on the nail so that we can do our design on it and I'm doing one nail at a time because with blooming gels you kind of need to go one nail at a time otherwise it could bloom too much. And for the added art, I'm going in with number 134, which is a beautiful fuchsia bright purple pink colour. It's absolutely stunning. 
so creamy, so lovely, and that's number 134. I will also be using my Ugly Duckling Detailer brush. This is the Detailer 2, and it is so super fine. I think it might be one of, if not my most fine brush I have. It was hard for the camera to pick it up, but it's so super tiny and perfect for intricate nail art and perfect for a step like this. So I've just applied that fuchsia colour to my palette, picking a bit of that up, and I've already got that Schmelt It Blooming Gel on that blue nail. I haven't cured it, I've left it wet, and I'm just swiping my brush through that nail from side to side. It is super easy to do, and as you can see at the top of the nail, it starts to disperse and blend, and it creates such a funky, cool effect. And what I'm going to do now, I've finished, and I'm just going to wait a few more seconds for the bottom areas to catch up and bloom as well and blend and melt. When I'm happy with it, you're going to put it into your lamp to, for a full cure and you're done. So I'm working, as I said, one nail at a time because if you were to do them all and then cure them, the first nail that you would have done would have bloomed and blended so much it probably would have gone to a big mess. So you need to make sure you're doing one nail at a time and then go in with your design cure and then move on to the next nail. So I'm going to do that to the other two nails and I'll be back. So now that that's all done and I've finished curing them all, I'm going to go in with some of these beautiful crystals. They have a purpley reflect to them, so I thought they'd go really nicely with this set and this design. I'm going to be using my Kiara Sky Dip Base and my Ugly Duckling Blinger Tool, which has the crystal picker up a bit on one end and a dotting tool on the other. So I'm just applying a bit of that base from Kiara Sky which is a nail resin and I'm applying three of the crystals onto the nail going from large to small. I do find when you're doing a more complicated design meaning a really crazy design on every finger it's nice to have a more plain nail on the ring finger to accent it it just helps to ground the whole design I feel like if I'd have done those purple stripes on that nail it would have been too much. So I really love how the crystals give it something different, but it's still in keeping with the design, and I feel like they all go really well together. So I finished off with some top coat, and you are all done. I cured in my lamp for 60 seconds to finish it off with the no wipe top coat, and there you have a beautiful, shiny, unique, funky looking design. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm absolutely obsessed with these nails and I highly, highly recommend Ugly Duckling nail products. I'll leave every single link of all the products I've used in the description box down below. Don't forget to go to my Instagram, Isabel May Nails, and follow me there and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!